What's up everybody, it's Nerp here, and today we're going to play another ranked match. And, oh, hello, Ice Cream. Um, let's see. Uh, I'm not sure what faction is playing, I think he's playing Energy. I mean, I do have a Languid I could use early, but I am going first, so I'm probably going to Creature, I'm, yeah, I'm going to... Yeah, I'm gonna draw a new hand. I do have a three drop, but I really want to get a one or two drop. And I don't, but I think this is actually probably a little better hand. I'll sack the early witch doctor. Even if he, if I know he's growth, then I would keep the witch doctor. His witch doctor is OP versus growth, as we all know. And he gets the turn one ripper, but I do have a language for that. I'll sack the necrogun, or I can hold off and play the soul steel next turn. But no, because next turn I'm gonna want to play the Rot Eater. Early Rot Eater is better than early Harvester. Harvesters are good in the mid game. Um, so oh, another Ripper. But we'll we could Soul Stealer Lang with that, so that won't be a problem. Life Stealer. I like this, like being able to do these three cards on three resources. So I am going to um, sack the Life Stealer. So hopefully he doesn't have a um, harvester or or a uh, rod eater, but he does have a brain lice. It's a little annoying, but it's okay. And that's not really doing. I'm fine if he does that. So I'm not gonna bother going for the soul steal. Hmm. Or actually, yeah, I'll do the language and the tribesman. I'll try to play the Harvester next turn. I'll sack Soul Steel. He already played two Rippers, so having that many Soul Steels isn't going to be that worth it. Or at least for now. Uh, so this is a new week, and I have a 1942 rating. That is a lot higher than it's been in a while. Now, hmm. I could soul steal this and be able to get this down to one health. And then dies to a brain lice. Or I could play hard. Yeah, I'm going to actually sacrifice the soul steal. Okay, and I'll go Harvester Ripper. And I will in... Do I deal... Do I destroy a Ripper that's not doing anything? And I would just buff the Rod here. But I mean, I'd rather destroy now when he doesn't have a Witch Doctor on the field. So I think I will do that. And who knows, maybe he goes... And also now, that's another countdown decrease for the Harvester. And now maybe... He's going to um, damage curse towers here, which at least then my Roger would survive. And okay, so he does get a brain lice on that. That means that's probably not going to be able to attack. And witch doctors are really nice. I want to play that next turn. So I will go ahead and. Sack the Darkling for resources so I can play that next turn. And I will play the Blight Bearer. I'll move you behind. Blight Bearer right there. So he can choose what he wants to kill. He can get poisoned, or he can destroy the thing that's attacking. Okay, another brain lice on that, so that's going down, but he's used all three brain lices of his now, so it's good to know he has no more of those. And is he not gonna destroy anything? Is he moving oh he's moving that way. I thought he might be moving up. And he does that. Okay. So that's not gonna be able to go off, even though it has a pretty low countdown. We'll have to sack the life here because I want to get out a witch doctor. And I want to have this Blight Bear be online with these guys so you can move and attack them next turn. So I want to, um, but I don't want him online with my stuff because in case he dies, I don't want to post my own stuff. So instead of doing 2 damage, I think I just want to kill this because he could play a Witch Doctor next turn. 
but this is is going to be a five five. So we're gonna we haven't drawn Democurse yet, so I'm not too worried about not being able to do anything about that. So we are going to go like this, and that is a five five rod eater. But I think a five five witch doctor is better. So we'll see what happens. See, yeah, what I was saying. Um, 1942 rating. Um, I haven't been that high since for a few months. Actually, more than a few months, probably like four months. If that guy's not much of a problem because we've languid, but I think we only actually have one more languid in this deck because we had two early languids. Rider, I'll have to sacrifice. Do I? I don't think I'm gonna play the Watcher. Uh. I do want to attack at least. But I want to. Yeah, I will. I mean, don't have any soul steals anymore. I don't think, actually. That might actually be a little bit of a problem. I could put you in front and take poison if he wants. Doesn't have any curse mongers on the field, so that shouldn't be too much of a big deal. Yeah, I'll do it. And I could play the Watcher. Um, no, I'm not gonna play the Watcher. I need it for being able to choose what to sack. Now, I don't think he's gonna. Sh oh, he does go for the Damon Curse. Okay, so he gets the Damon Curse before I get the Damon Curse. But it's not like he had like harvesters on the board and stuff. And he is going to get poisoned, so that will eventually be a two health for soul steal. I don't think we have any soul steals. Sack that for cards, and something's gonna die here. And we're gonna make sure this thing stays in f behind the thing with four health. Or do we want to protect what's attacking? Go put our hunter in front. Let's put this guy in front. And go like that. Sorry, a lot of my matches lately have been Decay versus Decay. I think that was the last ranked match video. So, I'll try to switch it up soon. But right now, Decay's been working because the new Wild Link stuff, Decay is pretty good against. And he has slight card advantage. And I'd also give him slight board advantage, so kind of want a damning curse. Even though that rider is poisoned, that six attack, that six attack every other turn, is quite a problem. There's a blight bear. Ooh, maybe I could, I could damning curse this blight bear if I draw a damning curse. Let's just see what we have to play with first. Yeah, let's like that. I do, I do draw a damning curse. So let's see, what could I do here? Oh, I could, or I could just move down both of these guys down. This guy. That would be too Then he'll have 5 health. I'll do 4 damage. And then he'll take 1 poison damage. Oh, so these two guys can die this turn if I want. So I don't think I damage curse this guy. I can save a damage curse for that and play something else this turn. That is what I'm, gonna, what I'm going to do. Um, he could Necrogeddon next turn. I don't want to put my guys all in the same row. I'm going to move you this way. And if I put a guy in the same row, that means like Black Bear can poison all my stuff. And I play the Oblivion Seeker over the Curse Monger. I know the Curse Monger is really nice to have. You know, yeah, I'm gonna play this Curse Monger because Curse Monger is gonna be amazing in in this matchup. I didn't draw any burn laces yet, so that's good. Okay, so at least that guy goes down. And if I need to, I can always damn and curse this. The reason I would play the Oblivion Seeker over the Curse Monger because it's five costs, so that means I could probably like maybe play the Curse Monger with something else. So he does have the language to be expected, but now he can be nice fodder. And now there's that, and that. Right, so he's filling up the board now, but we have an equal number of cards now, and I'd say the board advantage is quite equal. We could play both of these guys, but how what good would that do for us? I don't know. I think we should probably damning curse.
Um, as much as I don't want to part with his Oblivion Seeker in this matchup, I think I will. So I want to play two things, and I can play both of those. Three Damon Curses. Now, Damon Curse does have taxing now, so a little raising cost. But knowing that you have three Damon Curses is actually quite nice. Because now I will, th I think I will start getting rid of his stuff. So I'll get rid of this first. This is, all and I'll s definitely use Damon Curse on that later. And you are going to, too bad you don't have attack. And now three brain lice would kill you. You already used three brain lices, so I don't have to worry about that. So yeah, I am going to move down. So that's why I was good that I knew he had th he already used three brain lices. Because that way I know there's no way he can kill this rot eater normally without any like uh, damage curse this turn. Because that would kill that and three attack on four health. This guy's going to have four health if he kills this. He does get the witch doctor out, but we again we have all these damning curses. And let's see. So many options here. I will sack the haunter because I think we definitely want to keep these damning curses. But here's the problem now. This rot eater is almost dead. The damning curse would kill our rot eater. Which is probably not something we want, considering it has five attack, but it is in soul steel range. I'll sack the hunter here. See what I get. I get an oblivion seeker. Um. Hmm. Interesting. 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 Oh. I think I want to disengage now because this harvester is close to attacking and I don't want to lose this guy just like nothing. Actually, I could just lose him. Now, I'm going to move you. Actually, I do just want to kill you though. That'll be good. I'll go like this. I'll curse you. That was just in time that curse. I mean, maybe I shouldn't curse you because I'm probably gonna use one of the damage curses on that. So maybe that was a waste. But I don't know. Okay, so we're gonna let him dispose of this rod eater. Okay, he does get more protection and a languid. Let's see. Thing is, there's the first brain lice. We can only do one thing on the damage curse turns up because of this taxing. Now I could damage curse, but both of these guys die. And that's not what I really want to happen. I need to keep both these damage curses for both of those though. Harvest is actually not that big of a deal if I move away from it though. Let's sack the hunter. We gotta play bear good so we can play two things this turn, and I will play the brain lice. I will play the brain lice on the harvester. So that next turn, if this survives, I can go with a uh, curse on it so it dies. And maybe I can get away with it now it's not killing me. Uh, there's not much of a way I can have this rot eater survive here. I think the only way I could have it survive, maybe if I use move up, and I'll use a blight bear to protect it. So he can make a decision. He can make a decision on if he wants to, this thing is cursed, remember, and I have a curse monger here. So I'll let him choose if he wants to um, destroy the Black Bear to poison this and poison his own thing. So we'll see. Pretty bad if he has like a return to nature or something. 
he is probably a little better board state and cars. So this Decay vs. Decay match is not looking too good for us right now. But we're definitely still in it because he, neither of us has gotten a bunch of auto damage off. Two damage curses in hand. I, I do kind of regret going with the curse on the Witch Doctor now. Probably should have gone with the curse on the Harvester. But at least if he damage curses this turn, he does not get the Harvester to go off though. I'm not sure if he can get the Harvester off this turn. He would need like two Soul Steals. Oh, he gets another Witch Doctor, so at least we have something to damage curse there. Okay. And he is interesting. He locks these two in, so they're both going to be poisoned now. Very interesting. So now I don't feel bad about using a damage curse because that guy's dead anyways. I guess he didn't want that guy to die. And I do get a Necro Geddon. But a Necro Geddon. Hard to break through witch doctors. Um. I think I'm going to curse you so you die. Right. I'll have to damage curse you soon. I think I'll damage curse you next turn actually. So I'll stack the curse times I want to keep both damage curses. Hopefully I can get like one drop, but I don't. Ooh. We can go for like a Necrogen with like double Necrogen with like a Viper on the board. That could be fun. But for now, we're just gonna make sure this dies. So this will die in two turns. I want to make sure that this is dead. And um, I want to make sure this has less health because right now we can't really do much. Uh, with like a um, a, what's it called? A a necker again. Usually needs to have three health. Well, less than three health, I mean. Okay. And the reason I kept this curse monger back here is I don't want to put these guys in the same row. So if he is away, has a way of destroying his own blight bear. Watcher. I don't think he's in a state of the board where he wants a Necrogeddon though. That's just my gut, gut feeling. Because he has board control here, I don't think he's going to want a Necrogeddon. Maybe he just did that for some extra level damage, which can be a problem. But we will see. Uh, I think this turn is probably a damning curse on that Witch Doctor turn. Yeah. And, and a ripper or damage curse and a uh, even though things are dying and that harvester is might be able to attack soon I think that's what we want to do this is gonna die that's gonna die I don't really care about the poison because I'm gonna have a curse on the field and I'm gonna probably necro get it away anyways so now it's just, it's just a choice of do I want to keep both damage curses or do I want to keep uh, the extra fodder I can just place that with the necro again um, we're looking at sack of resources here, I think. Well, no, not if we're using the Ripper for the fodder. I do want the little Darkling, though. Oh, uh, this is tough. I think we're definitely damage cursing this, because this, we need to get rid of the other Witch Doctor so we can break into his forces. Um, let's sacrifice... We might need the damage curse of that Harvester, so I am going to keep both damage curses, and I think I'm going to sacrifice the Ripper for for resources. I'd rather kill my own little darkling, I guess. Yeah. And um so I'll go for the damage curse on you. And now I will I guess I have to protect a little bit. Or no I don't. Oh well actually Oh, okay, I kind of gave away that I'm going to Necrogun. Because maybe he thinks I made a misplay there and let my things get poisoned. I don't know. We'll see what he does. 
he can't move his harvester up here but he put the watcher there so it was so it wasn't bad to put my guys down here he is going to ooh man and is he gonna destroy this okay so I do get my own harvester now I guess I should I guess I'm gonna do it now so I will curse this harvester or no, what do I want to curse? You're gonna blow up on a row. I think you're gonna blow up on this row. And then I'm not gonna be able to. I only have four creatures that are like exploding right now. I could damage curse something else next turn, but I can't do it now because I have to necrogen now. I will. But I do want to curse that so I can destroy that this turn. Yeah, I'll do it like this. Okay. So I will. And so I can go with another Necrogun with the Tribes in next turn. I'm going to sack the Brain Lice. And so I can get the Tribes in next turn. And I will go like that on you. So I think that's going to be pretty good. I'd rather put the 2 damage on the idol on 8 health idol, I think. Necrogun. So that's dead, that's dead, that's dead. And you're gonna die to poison in two turns, but I'll kill you now so you can't kill that many things. Okay, I think that's a good turn. We have a little slightly better card advantage, but he is going to be able to destroy two things with uh, his harvester. He's probably gonna move his harvester up. And he just gets Oblivion Seeker out, and maybe a two drop. Another watcher. Okay. We might have to. We don't have a curse monger out, so now those watchers are going to take two hits from these husks. Now, let's see. I could. Necrogun with the tries and have three things go off, but what would that do, really? I think this is going to die soon. I mean, it's going to live with one health, but we're probably going to have a way to kill it with, like, a brain lice. I could use three a Necrogun and that, so two cards just to kill these guys, but the Curse Monger is not that big of a deal right now. I'm going to, um, use the Languid. I'm not sure if we actually need the damage Curse. Languid on you? Yeah, sure, Languid on you. A Ripper is good. All three of those things are good. I'm gonna sack the damage curse now. It's six cost, and I think uh, he's already played most of his big threats. Witch Doctor, ooh, that's nice. Okay, so we are going to go like this. We're gonna put you in front, and then I'll put the harvester. Be really nice to draw a watcher. We would have to draw it like very nice, very soon. So he might be able to get a quick win if he has like necro guns right now. We'll see. He's like a ripper necro. I might be able to get a quick win. Or maybe just regular necro. And he gets another seeker. So I think he is preparing for a necro gun. We have no curse markers in the field, so it's hard for us to do stuff. So he does get the curse off on him. Which means not a whole ton because I don't have any more damage curses. He doesn't have any more brain lices. So he's not going to be taking any residual damage, really. Uh, I probably should go. F if I Necrogun here, what does it really do? Kills his Oblivion Seekers and his Watchers. That might be the be what I need to do, but I'm going to hold off. I think I want to play. Curse Monger is so good. But I kind of need that witch doctor. Hmm. Harvester's nice also. No, I'm going to sack the witch doctor. Actually, the witch doctor makes it hard for him to get into my forces with an Ecker gun. So I'll sack the curse monger. Yeah. But I want to play both of you. So, you know, I'm going to sack the resources here. Maybe not the best thing to do. But I'm doing it anyways. 
uh, let's see. We want to make it so that he, um, I'm gonna make it so that if he Necrogens, I'll have both my Harvesters survive. And if he Necrogens, we do have a chance at losing the game. I think. Very small chance. I mean, this will probably go down easily. So we'll have to see. And if I top deck a Watcher, that would be awesome. Or maybe not, because it's hard for me to get through, his through to his idols right now. But we'll see. Like, if we top deck a, a Watcher, we'll have to have a long think about it. Hmm. Man, these decay, these decay mirror matches are so intense. Hmm. I think I'm actually I should probably stick to doing more decay than I used than I used to do. Because like uh, when I when I got to like when I was at two thousand rating and stuff, I was using decay mostly. Actually, a little bit of order too. And then I had phases of like playing growth, phases of playing energy. But I seem to do the best with Decay, I don't know. Okay, he gets another Pollutant Seeker out. So, if this game drags on for long enough, I'm probably going to lose. Because he's going to get Massive Card Advantage. And both of those go down. We don't have really have a way to trigger our own Harvesters. Hmm. Tough choice. I do want that Soul Steal on this Curse Monger. Or the Harvester. I think I'd actually use on the Harvester. Both of these are going to do 4 idle damage, so that's kind of annoying. Necrogen would stop him from a potential... Wouldn't really stop him that much, actually. I would. Uh, this Watcher would still survive. The Curse Warner still survive. I, th I think I'm going to sack Necrogen. I wish I didn't have to make the decision, but I mean, the deck is recycling right now, anyways. Okay, so I will go for the Soul Steel and then probably the Oblivion Seeker. Uh, the Soul Steel. He is recycling stacks so now, but he might draw a brain lice and stuff. And I'm not recycling my deck, so I might need a damage curse. So maybe I should just. Uh, damage curse. Uh, let's soul still you. And let's get a. Um, let's hit you there. And. I'll put you down here. And now if he damage curses, he loses a lot of stuff. Might be able to go damage curse harvester. And have it haste. I don't think I'll be enough stuff. I only lose two cards. I only lose one card. Oh yeah, I, I am taking a lot of time on my turns. Uh he goes to it and close to losing the game. This needs like so we really have to get rid of those watchers I kind of wish I kept oh I mean I have two harvesters go off but he just needs two loyal darklings for the win I haven't seen a loyal darkling for him in a while so maybe he doesn't run them now he definitely runs them uh, we have to basically dispose of all this stuff. Yeah, we have to get rid of it all. This deck did recycle, so I don't think he's gonna have much washers, and he just used the Necrogun after the recycle. That's good. Can we win, like, very soon? We could. I'd like to have that Necrogun back soon. Two, let's see, one, two, th that's eight there, so I can get rid of stuff. Here, I wanna keep creatures coming, so let's go like that. Necrogun, that's good. And we can go Necro again soon. Uh, let's put you. Let's do it like this.
Okay. So now, if he doesn't have enough protection, he does have six cards. If he doesn't have enough protection, we can possibly win next turn. Now it's a risk. I think I have sustained board control now, after the Necrogen, so it's really a race against him getting two little Darklings that he can uh, destroy. Or him getting two little Darklings out and waiting two turns. So that's going to, to go down soon. And a Soul Steel. We have to watch out for any creatures he gets. Now can we win? I don't think we can. I can go with the Necro and clear his board though. But I don't think that's what I want to do. A Necro again, that's one, two, three, one, two. Yeah, I can't win the game this turn. I can become very close. It's like the Life Stealer. You know, Life Stealer is better than Blood Bear. That's like the Blood Bear, actually. And. I should have sacked the other one so I could play two things this turn. I could Damning Curse. No, I'm not gonna damage curse. And I have to hope he doesn't get like a watch again. Or a straight up necker again. Move you here. Let's I think this is kinda safe. Let's put the life stealer over here. Well actually we can't play two things this turn. Whoops, I made a mistake. Four plus five is nine. <laughs> All right. If he has a watcher again, we basically lose. But he has, doesn't have enough creatures on board to break through with the necro again. Probably fishing for little darklings. He probably wants to. I mean, against the cat, I don't have any way of um, moving them like order does with like flips. So if he has little darkling, I think he just play it right away. So he can just get the two turns instead of waiting for like two soul steals or two damage curses with it. He does a lot of resources, so he would be able to do that and like pull it off in one turn think okay good he's just looking, he's just going with the stuff like brain lice that's what I want to see and we're gonna have to get rid of his stuff soon um, because soon enough he's gonna win double necro get in interesting I'll sack the damage curse if I go Necrogun right now, I mean, these guys have four health, so I'm not going to do it, actually. I just have to make sure I can do stuff. If he goes for a Necrogun, I mean, he could do this to get me poisoned all over. I have to watch out for damage curses, too. I'm gonna do some a little damage down here. And I will I'm gonna go ahead and keep this like this. I'll move you up a bit and put you here. Okay. I do think we have good protection. We're slowly doing idle damage, but we have to watch out. Two loyal darklings. Yeah. I almost hope he necrogens this turn. Obviously, I hope he necrogens this turn without winning, though. Is that at least then he would probably not play many more creatures. Like, I need a Watcher. A Watcher would probably win me the game. So right now, he's get it. He's able to get a steady flow of things on the board. Which I can't break through to his idols. Um, like, I need a little Darklings or something. That'd be good, too. Okay, and he gets that there. So now that kind of forces me, I can't really use a Necrogun to try to clear his board. Because that Harvester's there. Um, 
Is that curse that harsher back there? No, it isn't. So. I could go for the knocker again this turn, but nah. I have. Stop. If I can get a soul steal or a diamond curse, that'd be good. I want to keep the human, but I do have two Necrogans. I'll sack the human. A Watcher get in. Should we do it? Let's probably do it. Or I could do it like next turn. I'm gonna do it. Yep, I'm gonna do it. He's going to have a way of like doing stuff to me, but. You know, I'm gonna put the watcher down already. I mean, uh, I'm gonna move you up. I don't want to get poisoned. That might be actually pretty crucial. I got everybody poisoned. <laughs> okay. Whew, this is intense. A damning curse would do a lot for him. Uh, is he going to win the game here? Hmm. I, sh I should have killed. I should have just went ahead and killed the white bear. That was kind of stupid. Yeah, I should have killed the white bear. It's good. I'll have this curse going off. He doesn't win this turn. Come on, just don't win this turn, dude. I don't think he can. Yeah, I don't think he can. I have enough protection with that witch doctor. He would need to get rid of the witch doctor. And then get a Necrogun or something. Okay. Um. Okay. And your turn, and your turn. Don't protect your idols more than this. I like them the way they are. Oh boy. I, I, that certain watchers survive. I think I have to Necrogen now. I have to Necrogen. Okay, let's see if I can get like another watcher. I'll get a little Darkling. Okay. Um. I'll curse you in case I need to curse, in case I need to kill you. I guess, and I guess I'll do this. I don't know, where should I put this little darkling? I'll put the little darkling there. Oh boy, okay, let's get the win here. That's GG. GGWP. Intense match. Okay, that was a good match. Haven't had a good match like that in a long time. That's that's game, right? One, two, one, two, th yeah, it's match. Oh boy. <laughs> Again, that just case starter deck with the new update. Oh, I was like, I thought I might lose, like, because, like, I might kill his Darklings, but he doesn't have a Darkling on this title. Wow, that's one of the closest matches I've had in a long time. The K versus K matches are awesome. Well played, man. All right. Only game plus four rating against ice creams. Surprisingly, low. I think he's better than his rating shows. He's previously been a pretty good player. Um, 1946. Um, 1946. What does that make us? All right, we're in third now. So our goal is to be on this weekly winners thing. Um, so if I'll play a lot of ranked this week. There's a lot of free time now. So maybe I'll be able to get this one. But Guido, last week, he like won like 90 matches. 
so that's a lot. And I'm not sure if we'll be able to do that, so we'll try to hold on to this third stop, or maybe third spot, or try to get in one or two. Um, and actually, I forgot to show you guys. I have, that was my 1,000 first ranked win. I forgot to show you. I have, I have 1,000 ranked wins now on my main account. Um, I actually have closer to 1,200 if you add my second account, my other account, Nerf the Ninja. So, um, people that have more than a, like 1,200 ranked wins in total, I don't. I think Blinky definitely does because with all his accounts on his main account has like the same amount as me on my main account, and um, or maybe a little more. Uh, the Overlord is close. I think he's like about a thousand, but uh, um, and I know Chase is like almost a thousand, but uh, yeah. So I play a lot of ranked matches, and that was uh the second daily video. So yeah. Also, let me know in the comments uh if you like the new thumbnail. I I have a new thumbnail for the main cast. I used to do like those like the witch doc, not the witch doctor, the uh the ogre, the um general and the and the and the yarl but that was a little outdated and i think the thumbnail looks a little better so thank you all for watching like the video if you have enjoyed subscribe if you want more content like this and this was a very long video but i hope you enjoyed because that was an, an intense match so i will see you all tomorrow <laughs> keep on scrolling everybody